Hello, everyone. Hey. We have a special... Help, Yippee, thank you for the follow. <laughs> we have a special horrible guest today. Yeah, the most horrible. This is Lord Dragon. Would you like That's to me. introduce yourself? I am the Lord Dragon. I'm a 3D modeler full time. I make I help people take on their true forms and then sometimes I stream VR stuff. But today, uh, I'm just happy to be here in hell. Uh, it's actually an improvement from where I normally set up. Yep. Well, I'm glad to have you on, even though we're mortal enemies. That Honestly, I'd rather... In and out. <laughs> At least I know what to expect from you. I, I expect to be uh, attacked, uh, belittled, and uh, demeaned here, but when I go to like a regular party, I don't know what to expect. Yeah. I'm consistent in anything. Yeah. I, I'll take consistent torture over uh, the unknown, like, chill hangout with my neighbors. <laughs> You're lucky I can't throw hands yet. <laughs> I can't. I don't have hand tracking either, so we're, we're about in the same boat. <laughs> you can, head, can still do head, more than I can. Head ah, but you. Ah, ah, ah. Stop. <laughs> You're sharp. <laughs> You want me to move the Lorebot hold on? Oh yeah, and this is Lorebot. This is this is my little assistant helps me remember lore stuff because uh, I have the the worst memory. Ironically, the worst memory when it comes to lore stuff. So I have to ask Lorebot for help. I'm gonna pin whoops, wrong person. I'm gonna pin your little avatar to Lorebot for a minute. Oh yeah, the, the little stream avatars. <laughs> I am master of both the 3D and the 2D. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for coming by. Nice to see y'all. We're gonna get <laughs> started. Properly. There we go. Do the captions also capture mine too? Or is it just yours? Okay, good. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> I can just see it like just jumbling our words into a single paragraph. That would be pretty funny. Yeah, it's it's necessary for me because sometimes my voice law makes me incomprehensible. That's okay. Your accent, uh, I, I can understand your accent. You can at least. Yeah. Sometimes certain consonants get lost. I have to like consciously enunciate myself. It's okay, we can't all have, like, perfect ASMR voices like me. <laughs> what are we working on today? Alright, today we've got a uh, turnaround ref for one of your characters. Would you like to talk about your character? No. Die then! <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the two main characters from my... Um, my series, my book series, the Portal Mage Saga. This is Shaunark. He is a changeling rogue. I know it's no one's ever done this before. Okay, it's a completely original concept that I came up with. Uh, don't please don't steal. Um, and uh, yeah, he's a changeling rogue, and he's desperately trying to get back home to his world throughout the course of the series, while uh, hopefully not killing everyone in his path along the way. He's trying to become a better person, though. Killing some people's fine. Yeah, yeah, and he has a hard time making. He's also a hard time with his identity. He doesn't know, sometimes uh, loses track of who he is. Some one of his best friends uh, died tragically very recently, and within the terms of the, within the events of the story, and he hears his voice in his head because he takes on his form so often that he isn't sure why, but he can hear their voice and have full-on conversations with them as if they had never died. Haunted. And, uh, yeah, in a way, haunted. And I really like how you, whenever you draw him, you, you draw him with that, that just standoffish, like, probably don't approach this guy look with the whole frown, the, the furrow in his brow. It's, it's, it's coming across really well. You're, you're doing insanely good. Thank you. I'm glad you like it so far. I just opened this and realized I didn't like the shape of his head, so I'm fixing it. Yeah, skull shapes are important, if I learned anything from Reddit. Yup. Are we going to get into that? 
<laughs> Do you want to elaborate? Am I bad you right now? <laughs> I don't know. They were talking about it all the time. <laughs> I personally don't get it. But then again, I don't understand human culture very much. Uh, my friend Mega, I don't know if he spawned in as Dracula or if he chose Dracula, but the little Dracula sprite's so cute. I think, is that the goose game? I, like, I think I see like a little yes. goose down there. Yeah. <laughs> There's a goose. Cute. Hang on, people are attacking me in the stream avatars. I have to retaliate. Yeah, you're, uh, you're under attack for just being you. That's how it is here. Well, it is hell, so I, I, like I said, I was expecting this. I was ready. Hell is a nightmare at every turn. I didn't choose Dracula. Dracula chose me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Which Dracula is Which Dracula is that? I can't quite tell. Oh, it's, it's Castlevania Dracula. Oh. Uh, down a little Castlevania pack. The best Dracula. Yes. Aside from the OG, Bella Lugosi owns my soul. Well, actually, I don't know. The Renfield Dracula is pretty good. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of my favorite movies right now. Yeah, me and Nessie had a good time. We weren't really yeah. expecting anything out of it, but we loved Nicolas Cage and we had to go support our boy. Yeah. And we See. liked it. We had a good time. Yeah, see, I have um, ADHD slash autism brain rot about Dracula and Renfield specifically. So when that movie came out during my hyperfixation, I'm like, oh, that's just for me. This movie was made for me. Yeah, yeah, it's Hollywood's gift to you. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that way about uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. I feel like that movie was made just for me. Oh, yeah. And I'm allowing everyone else to watch it too, but it was made for me. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Mega. You need to update your Godzilla model. I do, actually. I do. Because it still has the old Lord Dragon head on it. Yeah. And it's, like, terribly rigged. <laughs> I know it can do much better now. I believe in you. I'm going to add the spines to the, to the next version. Sick. To show my support for my boy. Oh, to integrate part of your favorite character into your design. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I straight up did that with Bull too, so I don't even, I'm, I'm not judging one bit. What is the inspiration behind Bull's character anyway? I don't think good, you've ever told me. Good question. I can show. Give me a second. Uh, there we go. Here's his inspiration chart. The entire left side is just Hellboy. Ah. Uh, I see the, uh, uh, the, oh gosh, is that, that's Dio uh, on the right, right? Yep. For uh, the band. We got the bull it. from the unicorn. Yep. From the last unicorn. On the left, it's all Hellboy characters. On the right, you name all the characters. But on the top right is uh, just a character from Muse's last album. I'm pretty sure I sent you those concert bits. I think so, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> crit raid! Yay! Hi, Crit! I hope you had a good stream. Hey, 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 another dragon. Finally, I'm not the only dragon at the party. <laughs> you never know, there could be more hiding amongst us. Well, hello everyone from Chris Stream. I hope y'all had a good time. Yeah, was it short? I hope it was still fun though. Glad to have you. Hang on, whenever he spawns in with the stream avatars, we're, we're throwing hands. <laughs> throwing hands is great. I'm a dragon. Oh, yeah, that's right. Kazu's a dragon, too. Of course. <laughs> yep, 
yeah, Crit's model is probably one of my favorites to make so far, and I put like my entire heart and soul into that one. <laughs> it's it's so so good, so 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 good. You know what? I'll, I'm gonna link your Twitter real quick. Oh yeah. So I don't have a shadow command yet because I'm stupid, but there's your Twitter at least. Uh, hey. Crit, if you want a little guy walking across the bottom of the stream, you gotta follow me first. Oh, I didn't. Oh, he he don't follow you. Oh. Fake, fake friends. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've only known him almost my whole life. Ah, you, there you go. <laughs> Alright, when you spawn in as oh, you spawned in as a little uh, Stardew Valley character. <laughs> That's cute. There's a blue dragon, I think you can select unless um unless there's like a dim system, because I'm I'm pretty sure they didn't claim the blue dragon. As she should. Yeah, great, my selection is impeccable. I take a look through your selection. I just pick Growlmon because that's what I typically get. But let's see what else we got in here. I think there's a uh, monster hunter monster that's pretty close to what you look like. Yeah, those are so detailed. Where did like someone had to like make those from yeah. scratch? The rest of these you can like rip from video games, but yeah. I'm so devastated that it didn't have more uh, Maple Story options. They had a few, but not enough. Because all of Maple Story is just a pixel art game, and like they could have put everything on here, and they just put Please. like five things. Yeah, dang, they got a lot from uh, Cult of the Lamb. Yeah, you can make a, a fully custom Cult of the Lamb follower. Huh. They're all uh, color coded and everything. I used to use stream avatars too a long time ago. I, I can't remember know. why I stopped. Oh no. I know that I randomly spawned in as a Vocaloid character on your streams and I never changed it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I stopped because it was like, uh, it took up like 10% of my GPU to use it. And at the time when I was streaming video games, it just took, uh, it took too much. You know, I was trying to stream Elden Ring and the, the graphics on that were a little much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Kazu, I was having that trouble. Don't trust oh, him, no. stinky dragon. But yeah, we don't trust each other. That's that's the whole point. But we are uh, literally enemies. Yeah, not frenemies. We are enemies. We we actively sabotage each other. Hate you, bestie. Hate you too. <laughs> you know that thing people say about keeping your enemies closer. That's why he's literally right behind me. Yeah. He's right behind me, isn't he? I'm right behind you. Take this. <laughs> it's a ah, ah, ah. You're getting cut into the ether. You say take That's this right. and then you cut off your own head. Yeah, because I get confused with my hotkeys, whether it's like fly or uh, <laughs> fire. <laughs> They're both this character is there. I think I made it mod only. Hold on. And I'm pretty sure I made you a mod. Give me a second. Oh, Doro Greymon, that just looks like me. This is me. You, you are a mod, what the fuck? You should be able to select it. Can you have mods if you're not an affiliate? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Alright then. You're basically there. Like, you get 10 more followers, you probably already have, like, the... everything you need to... Well, life for it. The Let's only thing more. I don't have is I need to stream um, seven days within a month. Yippee! Oh, okay. Thank you, Tom Hunter, for the follow. Yeah. yeah, you can get that pretty yeah. quick. Because you've been streaming like every day this week. Yeah, I think, this right? Is, like last third day. Yeah, this is like my f uh, third day in a row streaming, I think. Fourth day? I don't know. Yeah, it's it's not hard. No. It's really not that bad, um, especially if, since you got such a very like well put together community already. And 
I like I have a lot of fun in your Discord. Thank you. I'm glad. I mean that in the worst way possible, of course. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Well, congrats, Red Mage. Yeah, we'll get we'll get you there, crit. You found him, yay! See, I knew you would be able to use him. You're a mod, it should work. Yeah, I gotta do. I gotta schedule a collab with Crit, because I mean, just imagine having both of our dragons on stream at the same time. That'd be so cool. I've been meaning to. I, I'll reach out to you after this stream. Oh yeah. What's better than this? Guys being dragons. <gasps> Yippee! Thank you for the follow. Brand Devin. Oh, hey, Bran. What's going on, buddy? You guys have, like, very similar goals and aesthetics, both being, like, super, super villain daddies. Nice. I would love to learn more. Also, what do you mean, Belt? Am I in danger of just being turned down? I mean, they just turn people down sometimes. Oh. They just, you know. And, and then, like, they try a second time, and they just get it. I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah, they're gonna take one look at my nipple rings and be like, uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> nipple ring discrimination. I am being oppressed. Yeah, as you should be. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, that, that's why I'm in hell, is because I'm a king shamer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it does take them a minute to re apply to, re to reply to you too. So like sometimes some pe people will apply for affiliate a little too early. Like they'll yeah. like they'll get their fiftieth fiftieth follower on their seventh stream, and then you know immediately apply and they're then they get rejected there because it's like they haven't you know, they just hasn't fully loaded yet. You gotta let it you gotta let it set for a little while. You know don't don't pull your pizza rolls directly out of the microwave. Give it a second. Ugh, what I want it now. My pizza rolls. <laughs> I'm so glad to have Tom Wincher here. I'm sorry there's not any toes today. Yeah, and I don't exactly have the best toes. Your toes are mid at best. Good. <laughs> Good, that's by design. <laughs> yeah, only affiliates get pizza rolls. You can have mine, I don't like pizza rolls. I like them. Sometimes it's one of those foods I can be specifically in the mood for. Hi, Sierra. Nice. Hey. <laughs> no toes. This is a no toes zone. That's a lie. I've drawn plenty of toes, just not today. I mean, I, I guess Lorbot has some kind of toes. He's got those like little uh, minimalistic Pokemon toes. Yeah. Little uh, Dragonite toes. Yeah. Got to get, got to hit partner for calzones. You know what? I've never had a calzone in my entire life, but I feel like I'd love them. You would. You got to get up in the right place, though. Some of them can just be like a mouthful of grease. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic until you feel it later. I'm about to go to a festival tonight. I'm ready. I'm ready for the grease food that's going to get me sick. Hell oh, yeah. Just the constant influx of toes. I accept it. <laughs> I'm excited to see how far I get on this today. I should have. I should make like a whip animation just so I can, like, as you're working on one of my stuff. On, I'm just back here just whipping like work, work, <laughs> whatever you want to do, man. <laughs> you want me to finish it today, Zero? We'll see. It's entirely, entirely up to how my arm does. The poison. It's working its way through your body. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. I haven't even eaten. What did you poison me with? 
it was a challenge, but I had to poison you through your pillows. Oh, not my pillows. I knew that you never eat. Shit. It was the... She needed my hair. My character just comes out with like seven heads and like 14 eyes in every head and they're like... Oh my that god. Looks, that took some creative liberty. <laughs> You should go absolutely wild and make a candy guitar model for yourself. Say again. You should go buck wild and make a candy guitar model for yourself. I've been thinking about how that would be possible to have you know three heads acting independently. Yeah. We'll see you around, bro. If you join my Discord server, I'd love to see you. Uh, your your spooky guys. Because like when I first, um, I, like I think it was like late last year, I was th con contemplating how it would be possible to make a VTuber model that um, where all three heads worked not only worked independently, but maybe were even controlled by different people. And um, like theoretically, it's possible, but they would all have to be sharing the same Wi-Fi network because you would have to. They would each have to have their own AR kit, face tracking. That'd be like the only other way I could think to do it. Or if you wanted to have just one person controlling it, you would have you could have hotkeys that activate or deactivate uh, each head. So you'd have to pick which head you wanted to, to uh, talk with, and then just press that button. So with I, with Vignon, it's possible now. I could figure a way to do it, but it'd be a little janky. Let me see if I can describe it real quick with images. Okay. So you would have like, this would be an above everyone layer of like, the body. There. There. I'm such a great artist. Okay, so there'd be the body, and then behind everyone you would do like what we're doing right now with your model, and you just have them pasted in there, and yourself, you could put right here, and then you can paste everyone else in behind the body. And somebody else is right here and they're controlled independently on their own screen. That could work. That yeah. could work, especially if they if only their head is moving and their neck is pretty well like stationary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you could have like an asset behind the group that is like just maybe a looped transparent image. That's like a, a tail winding back and forth. Like wings that wiggle. Yeah, there could be an a uh, an idle animation. I think yeah. that, like Saro said, uh, you could do like a an idle animation for the other two, and then yeah. have like one of them be the main head. Um, it would be possible. Um, yeah, if you wanted it to be solo, that could work like that, and then you could just do really janky layering if you wanted it to be three different people. Actually, let me look at Vignon. I think there's a way that I can just like. I'm, at, I'm this. I haven't even thought about this project in months, yeah. just because like it wasn't possible at the time. But I think now with the updates we've gotten since then, uh, it might be. Hang on. Ooh, ooh. Let me look at these nodes. Oh, y'all, y'all can probably see that, can't you? Yeah. That's not okay. All right, we're we're doing some behind the scenes. Pioneering of 3D VTubing. Will oh, I be yeah. the first three-headed VTuber? And if you wanted to go like super crazy, you could instead of Ghidorah, you could do Tiamat and have even more heads. Oh man, let's <laughs> that that would be a that'd be a spicy model right there. That'd be expensive. Uh -huh. Um But it's possible. I've done alien crazy alien models before. Oh Craig came up with the same idea I did at the same time. <laughs> We got a lot of nodes these days. Zero says to do a dragon's dog Mahidra. Oh god. How many heads did those have? Those had like five five or six heads. Those were awesome though. They have the best Hydra's Hydra design of any game. I haven't seen it. It's just real simple, like they just look like snakes, but 
They're really freaking big, really big, beefy looking snake with like five or six heads. That's nice. it. Real simple, and I love it that way. I'm gonna go look that up here in a second. This might be possible because I think there is a way to take a node that will straight up turn off blend shapes. So what that would mean is like if all three heads had AR kit face tracking like mine does right now, uh, if I press a certain hotkey, it, I can make it so that it filters out and turns off all the blend shapes. Uh, actually, no, never mind. It wouldn't work because it would turn them all. It would either it would turn them off for all heads or turn them on for all heads. Could you have all of the heads act into your own face at the same time? Uh, yeah, that that would be easy. That would just be like what what I have now, but with th two copy pasted heads next to me. Yeah. Um. That would be easy. I think that's a pretty cool. Yeah, I'm trying to think how else. I guess if I were to make a blend shape or like do AR kit tracking for the middle head and then have 52 other AR kit blend shapes for each head that were like similar, then they would just, I don't know. This is a hell of a project. This is going to take some workshop and <laughs> this, this would be a hell of, hell of a thing to try to put together. We'd be innovating today. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Had to pioneer something. Alright, let's flip up what the Hydra looks like. That's sick as hell. Yeah, I love it. Seriously, best uh, best game ever. Best game of all time. Maybe I'll play it when uh, my hand's all healed. Hmm. That What's the recovery so time on that? What? What's the recovery time on your hand? Did they tell you? Uh, it's going to depend how the surgery itself goes. Um, it could be anywhere from like four to over six weeks. So I'll, I'll be, be sure that you get the best doctors around. <laughs> yeah. It's, it wouldn't even be the doctor's fault. It's just going to uh, depend on how my arm itself is on the inside because they don't know what's wrong until they get in there. Oh, right, right. It's pretty stupid. Hell yeah, Sierra, I'd love to watch that. I know in the sequel for or Dragon's Dogma 2, they're actually going to have other races other than human. I think it's just going to be the one other race, though, so... Basically human or lion person, and that's it. That's kind of a boring variety, not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. At least in the first game it was just human. As far as I knew, there were no other sentient species. But um, yeah. that's just such a weird thing to pick. You know, if you, you could pick any other uh, like fantasy race, if you could only pick one, it just seems weird to pick lion people. It does. They're trying to cater to furries. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I keep coming back over to the front facing shot and being like, I don't like that. Oh, that's a little better. There's just constantly something proportional that I'm like, <laughs> Turnarounds are hard. They are. Nice crit. I hope so. Laura, you still need to post your live reaction to the trailer. Oh yeah, the <laughs> the reaction to the Dragon's Dogma 2 trailer. <laughs> I do need to I, I need to. I'm I'm terrible about making actual content outside of streaming. I'm a bad do streamer, guys. Do it. <laughs> do it right now, pussy. Let me see if the clip is still there. Cuz I have it set up by default to like not um save my vods because I uh I stream a lot of like those rhythm games, so they have a lot of copywritten music, so they just automatically delete the bots half yeah. the time. It would be on YouTube. That's right. It would be on YouTube. Because YouTube is cool. Uh, let's see. 
those watch hours like jumped up last time nice. just from us like messing around with that can I just download the whole VOD I'm sorry Red Mage I've never played a Final Fantasy game in my life that's okay you're not missing too much <laughs> I mean, unless you want to count Kingdom Hearts, which kind of... Yes, it does. It totally counts. Okay, I've only played Kingdom Hearts. But yeah, n n just kidding. Final Fantasy 16 is pretty neat so far, but it, it doesn't feel like a Final Fantasy game. Yeah. It's like Final Fantasy in name alone. Because it's not... It's just an action game now. Which is fine. It's a good action game, but like, it's just... Uh, I don't know. It's It's just... It's weird, I guess. It's like, imagine if Fire Emblem decided to stop with the grid-based system. Or they did, actually. They did Fire Emblem Heroes. Yeah, just that. <laughs> it feels like a DMC. Yes, it does. It actually does. Nice. Kind of. It looks pretty, though. Like, the graphics are, like, as in pioneered as always. Yeah, I saw um, that one clip that was posted in your server. It looks really cool. Crit don't like 13. 13's one of the best. 13, 1, 2, and 3? They're awesome. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. No, I'm dead serious. Like they, I love 13. 13, okay. 1, 2, and 3. Like the whole the whole premise of like defying God and then just saying just saying, I don't we don't care if we're gonna destroy the world. We're just gonna kill God instead. Like I mean, of course that's like every Final Fantasy game, but this one did it the best. Nice. It always starts off like we're going to we're going to war with the evil empire, and then it always ends with kill God. Beautiful. Yeah. What I do on the daily. Yeah, yeah. You know, just just the usual. Stand, standard Monday at work. Yeah, just another day, just another day in the life of bull. <laughs> Kill God. <laughs> it's a luxury if you can afford. Mm. It's okay, correct. Everyone's got their different tastes. But only mine are correct. You're a little bitch. You know, as an atheist, I don't believe in objective truth. But <laughs> as a narcissist... I believe in that my truth is objective truth. Nice. I'm trying to give them the most unimpressive ass that I can. <laughs> the yes, thank you. <laughs> I know, I know what you want. <laughs> like he has to have a little, otherwise his bones are gonna pop through whenever he sits. That's my life, my real life. Oh, me too, actually. <laughs> I, can't I can't sit anywhere. I can't sit on anyone's on anyone's lap. I actually hurt them. Because <laughs> my yeah, bones my... are prominent. Yeah, I remember one time Nessie asked me to sit in her lap, and I was like, "No, I don't want to." She's like, "What? Are you too manly?" I'm like, "No." And she's like, "What? Are you? Are you afraid you're gonna crush me?" No. She's like, "Then what is it?" And I was like, "I'm gonna stab directly through your thigh into the chair beneath you with my ass bones." <laughs> no. Like, ass Come on, it can't be that ass. bad. She's like, come on, it can't be that bad. I sit in her lap and she gets bruised all up and down. Oh <laughs> See, this is why I get full of an actual ass. You can succeed where I have failed. <laughs> I'll make a I'll make a custom redeem for you where it just inflates so that you can sit anywhere and be comfortable. <laughs> just make his ass way too round. <laughs> just press the hot key, just press the button and like, okay, I can sit anywhere and be comfortable. That's so funny. There's a reason I stream from a couch. It's because I can't, I can't take, I can't even sit and be comfortable in like a decent office chair. Yeah, my office chair has a pillow on it so I can sit on it comfortably. Yeah, yeah I'm ass ass Hell yeah. <laughs> I 
was actually thinking about some 3D redeems to get from you at some point. You see what I've written down? I'll let you know if it's possible. Well, some of them are just almost copies of yours. Oh. <laughs> so, one of them um, is, I just want your fireball. Just copy-paste that. <laughs> you literally can with Vignon. You literally just say export, and then you load it, and boom, you have it. Fuck yeah. Because people Love want to this. throw fireballs at me. So mean, but I'll accept it. So th this is one of the complicated ones. So let me know if this is, like, not reasonable. So it would be, like, a water splash, and it makes my fire go out for a minute. Oh yeah, that's easy. Like, um, cause you know how we have the water, uh, the water gun in mine. Yeah. You can make it just a splash, so it's not like a constant stream. It can just be like a a single big splash, nice. and then we can set a redeem where it turns off the fire particle effect that we're probably gonna have for your head. Nice. So you just all the redeem does is shut that off, and then have it set to where your texture changes from lit up and red to your black one. So That'd be yeah, sick. we could do it. Oh yeah. And then another one that's just almost exactly like one of yours is Book Taco, because somebody was asking for me to do that. <laughs> the Book like, Taco. Uh, it would, are you able to, like, copy and paste a picture of a book cover onto the book? Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you just have the book cover, okay. we can do that. Because I think it was Wendy that suggested it be a help one book cover. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Fuck yeah. I'll find, like, a high-res version of one of the, Omni uh, the Omnibus covers. I can't even remember which, what cover I use for mine, if I, mine even has a cover. I think yeah. it's blank, but it might just go at an angle where I don't see it. Let's find out. I'm going to flip myself around a little bit. Go for it. Where is it? Don't be like me. Organize your... Neon redeems. Uh, where is it? Yeah, you need to orga organize your stuff, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna listen to that advice. Be better than me. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay, that one squished my head. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why you <laughs> your head? I, I don't know. I don't even know what this redeem is for. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> I think this... Oh, wait, I know. This is the one I made for uh, Muse Dog, because he has his own squish oh. redeem. But I make it in my Vignon and then export it to his. So this one just had a squash for the head, for like his head. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I need to make some redeems too. You you can. I mean, it, your model will work in Vignon too. It's made the same way mine is. Uh, let me see. When Bull's model is done, you should make a redeem for yourself where Bull's model's hands just come in and like clap the sides of your face and flatten it. <laughs> I could. <laughs> <laughs> you have my blessing. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll have you sign over Bull's likeness. Hell yeah. So you don't try to sue me. <laughs> Yeah, Corey, we're weird, we're gremlins. Also, Corey, my card's been here today. Spine Jackal in my comments right now is who's gonna be collabing with me for Pokemon cards. Oh. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. I got so many. That's gonna be a long ass stream. How many was it? Oh, I didn't exactly count. <laughs> God damn. I mean, I can go check and guess. Oh, here it is. Finally. Okay, yeah, it's nothing. It's just a blank book. Hey, you should add something to that. 
You should play against your own book cover. Yeah, I, I really could. I don't know why I didn't do that. I just forget that I have books. Okay, I'm gonna... You ever... I'm gonna write down how much cards are in each of these things I got, and then I'll have them up. Or at least the packs, because the amount inside the packs, I won't know until I open them. It's gonna take a hot second, hold on. Some of these I have to guess because the target listing does not say. <laughs> Yippee! Thank you for the follow. Itachi. That makes me want to add the Naruto patch to Street Avatars. Me and Nessie watched a death battle with, Nar with a Naruto character over lunch today. Nice. The one with Obi Wan versus um, Kakashi. I've forgotten how that one turned out, but I'm pretty sure that fight was animated in Blender. Ooh. I would just love to someday be like, get the call from Death Battle and be like, "Hey, we need you to do see, uh, episode six of season whatever. We want want to want to do a death battle between." Uh, God, I don't even know. Who who hasn't been in death battle yet? Okay, so if I did my math correctly, one of them I had to guess on because they don't actually know how many are in the box. I should have 37 packs of Pokemon cards. 37 packs. Yep. How long does it take for you to open a pack if you're being careful? Couple minutes. But if I get, like, a really good card, I'm gonna stop and focus on it for a while. I'll be like, oh, oh, look at this, fuck! Whenever it gets here in the middle of the day, I'll actually properly count how many there are. What's with my voice? It is a, um, it is a voice mod, and if you want to join my Discord, here you go. There you go. Yeah, Corey, it's gonna be a time. Buckle up. Are you doing that tomorrow? No, not, not tomorrow. It's gonna be sometime during the week. I might aim for Wednesday. It's gonna depend on some people's schedules. I may try to do it on Monday. I wanna do it as soon as possible. It's gonna suck staring at that pile of Pokemon cards and not being able to open it. Just sweating profusely. Literally. Now you open them all and then you have to buy 37 more to, for the stream that you promised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, Corey, I'm definitely not ready. <laughs> well, like, I am and I'm not. Because I want to open the Pokemon cards so bad, but I know what's going to do them mentally. I'm gonna start passing out midstream. Thank you for joining the Discord. Yeah, I'll probably eat dinner before I start streaming on that day. Red Mage, you gotta write a proper introduction, please. Read the rules section. It's a trick. Don't follow the rules. <laughs> They're trying to see if you, if you follow the rules. I believe in you, Corey. Thank you, Red Mage. Hey, here's a question. Are you ever going to actually need to model this man barefoot? Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay, very, I'm going to leave very the good chance. Of it. Yeah, I and mean, if I did, I'm just going to copy paste the same foot that I use for everybody. <laughs> then I will leave them simple. 
yeah, there's a good there's a good chance that like the, the body is practically going to be done already, and I'm just going to like reshape the body that I already have. Yeah. Just take Sophia's body and just cut off the boobs. <laughs> yeah. I cast reduce thy boobs. Proportions. Something is wrong. The nose is one centimeter too high on one of those. It's one millimeter. It's definitely more than that. So how do you choose which lines to put? Do you like the the horizontal red lines you got there? Um, it depends on the character I'm drawing. Like here, I've got the top of the head, the one above it's the top of the hair, got the eye and ear line, nose line, chin line, shoulders. Most of it in between I can eyeball, but I try to keep things as exact as possible. Good. I really appreciate that. Yeah. There's some things that I bump a little bit. Like, um, I noticed on Bull's ref, I might have made his, like, side profile nose line too prominent. So I'm like, oh, fuck. It's gonna come out completely messed up when I make <laughs> it. No, 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 there's a good chance that, like, even if, even if it comes out perfect, that, like, once it translates to 3D, something's a little bit weird. If I were to perfectly... Uh, just expand it out. So yeah. no matter how perfect your turnarounds are, I have to you know put in at least some effort into making it look good in 3D, change yeah. some stuff. There's some people I've modeled for that just don't understand that. Like, like it does. It literally does not. You can be the most professional turnaround reference artist in the world. Best there is at Pixar, and the 3D artist will still have to make changes. Could be like that. Yeah. Why are you like this? Oh, I see. There's a whole problem here. His entire chest line somehow is too low. Ah. It's a little thicker. Hi, Kiwi. Have fun at Pride. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you want to change what you are in this stream avatar. Just go to my description. If you're on mobile, full screen the chat and click the SA icon. And you can scroll through and see what you can change. You seem like somebody who might like Digimon. There's plenty of those. I think Tellmunter came in as a Castlevania monster. <laughs> Have you seen the anime on Netflix? Yes. It's only like the greatest achievement in 2D animation since... I don't know, forever. It's so Dude, good. It's so good. Unmatched, even. I'm adopting Alucard. Aw. It's my boy. <laughs> it's my boy. Oh my gosh, um, I'm, when me and Nessie were watching it, we misunderstood uh, how old Alucard was in the show. Because yeah. he says that like he was a full adult at seven, which is true, but yeah. he's been that way for like over 20 years. Yeah, he's, so he's, he's of age. When we heard that, because uh, Nessie was like just simping for him, kind of, like as soon as she saw him, yeah. just immediately. And then when we heard that, I was like, I... Nessie, I think he's only seven years old. And she's like, no, no. <laughs> I have that same concern. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Elaborate, please. <laughs> How long have you been seven? Kazu's <laughs> <laughs> in.
any more episodes. They're making a new season, which is going to be like Next Generation with uh, uh, it's not what what is the guy's name? Is it Richter? Is it Richter Belmont? I don't remember. Yeah, Next Generation Belmont. Like we already got the preview for it, so it's like it's coming. Yeah. I saw Just wish one of the show producers say there would be news soon, but that was like a month ago. Yeah. I know he wanted to do uh, a Berserk anime adaptation, which, honestly, I, I, no, I don't care who it is. Nobody, nobody's allowed to try Berserk again. No. Yeah. No. Nobody's but, allowed. I, I don't know if this is a hot take, but ever since the print, one second, let me mute myself real quick. Roommate, you know, I think you should keep yourself. What? I'm taking over the stream. This is my chance. Is that my package? Yes. Oh my god. They sent me a trading card on a box. I'm gonna send a picture of it. Thank you. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it today. Oh my god, when you're done, bring it here. I'll show on stream. My brother's gonna go buy a snake. Holy shit. Wait, I need to take a picture of this with my hand next to it so you can see how big it is. <laughs> what the fuck was I saying? I was saying something before. Oh yeah, it's a hot take on Berserk. Berserk. Uh, yeah. My hot take is that uh, I don't think anybody should continue Berserk in the hardest place. I think it should be left unfinished. Only if it has his blessing. Like if he selected a successor, yes. then I, then I think that's fine. But if the studio is like, okay, we want this to continue making money, then no, that's not cool. Yeah, that's like that's my only problem. Like Robert Jordan, whenever he was writing the Wheel of Time, like he he knew he was gonna die before finishing it, so he named a successor and wrote down every wrote down the outline. Yeah, and that's totally cool, totally ethical. In fact, that's the best thing an artist can do, if they if they've garnered such a huge following, you know, if they, you know, treat their audience with respect. But at least, like, the author of Berserk, he finished it. Like, in his eyes, he's like, okay, I think this is as good as it's, this is as finished as it's going to be, and um, I don't think he named a successor, but I could be wrong. Either way. Yeah. Um, I think I it's know. official that somebody is actually supposed to finish it in his place, but I need, like, the peace of mind to know that it was with his permission. Yeah. Yeah. His permission would be would be nice. Alright, you're gonna disappear for a second while I grab this picture. No You're dead. I've killed you. Okay, you're back. It was there was nothing. It was, it was so quiet. There was nothing after death. <laughs> right, we're, take, we're taking a small detour on stream for me to open this box. I'm not waiting for anything. That's a big box. It's a big box. I don't have sharp scissors in here. I just have like those little kitty scissors. <laughs> This is gonna this is gonna be like whenever like in breaking bad whenever you just see that massive like pile of cash or or like that massive pile of meth that they cooked and this, this is a huge is, bag and he's just like <laughs> this is my meth <laughs> <laughs> all right 
or that scene in Scarface where he's just sitting at the desk with like mountains of coke. But in your case, it's mountains of tins. Yeah. Can I get this without glitter, please? I'll take like a proper lighting photo later. I'll make it all pretty. You're right, Corey, I'm not. This is the most Pokemon cards I've ever had at one time. Or had to open at one time. Alright, you're gonna disappear again real quick while I get the picture. Wait, no. Don't what? send me back! Okay. Thank God. <laughs> I might have to split it. You're right. No, that cut it off. There you go. Look at all that. Looking good. <laughs> There's a little uh, box right here on top of this one, it might plug in a bit. So, these ones on the right, they have a... I'm gonna put it in here. They have a shit ton each. These ones have a lot, this one's okay, this has like... Five or six in it. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Dude, I'm so not ready. Oh no, the little one has a dent! I swear to god, if that hurt any of the cards, I'm gonna sue. Kill them. Watch me get, like, the rarest Charizard ever in there, and it's been dented. I die, I cry. Dent them. <laughs> I will. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I think after, uh, after stream today, I'll make, like, a proper promo post. Or at least, like, a free promo for it. Because that's going to be a day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello, Larkbarian. Stream goes well. I just got a bunch of Pokemon cards in the mail. Oh, I, I still have this open. <laughs> I give it to him. Die. There we go. Yep, all those cards are mine. I'm gonna open them on stream this coming week. Yep. 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 All right. Let's get this. How late are you, um, one in the stream today, Lore? I can go for at least another... two hours. Sure. Or however sure, long sure. you're going. Uh, I can I can go forever, but I know you got things to go on tonight. Yeah, well, nothing too important. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I'll be the only straight guy at, uh, our Pride Festival. No, I, I, I've got this plan for. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> At, le at least in our friend group, in our friend group, because okay. like ne Nessie's friend group that she's that we're going with today is like ne exclusively, uh, I think bi, lesbian, or some form of non-straight, right? And I'm the only one there and now, so they're all going to bully me tonight. And today is their day. Today is their day. It's okay, you deserve to be bullied a little bit. Just a little. Oops, that's not what I wanted to move. Find that booty hook. There we go. He is alive. He's looking great. Thank you. 
character design is definitely my biggest weakness. Like, I, I had to go through like several different lore dragons to get one that I was sort of happy with. I mean, that happens. Did I ever show you how many iterations of design Paul had before I was satisfied? I think you told me about him, but I don't think I've seen them all. Oh my god, we're gonna show it. I know I've never had more trouble with a character design in my life. <laughs> Usually I can just shit one out and be like, yeah, that's great. But in this case... But are you, are you normally making characters for yourself, or is that, like, for uh, commissions and stuff? Oh, uh, both. Let's see. There's a lot going on here. Yippee! Thank you for the follow, Green Claw. So, they're... They're overlapping a little bit, I think. Yeah, okay. So... I had all of these up here. I was going to give them like an actual face at one point. Oh. Yeah. I tried to do some silhouettes, and then I made them like shadowy and dreamy, but he still kind of looked more animal-y. Um, this was the first full body thing I drew for him, which I ended up keeping. Um, and there's more over here. It's just like a full colored test image that I didn't keep. And there's more over here. Oh yeah, it's not the same stuff. But yeah, it's a lot. Well, and then we got, we got all of that. Bitch. I don't know what's behind him. Oh, it's just... I got a lot of junk in here. He almost had thinner arms too. I don't think I saved that sketch. He would have been looking like, um, Debbie Mon. You're correct, Kiwi. True. I really struggle with the character design aspect. Like, I can't really draw that well, believe it or not. And, um, I, like, any, any, even if I do draw, if I don't have a reference of any kind, I just can't quite come up with something. I either have to just have something out and then just continually edit it or, um, have someone else design it for me. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Not a, it's not everyone's thing. I think you've got plenty going for you. If you could do character design too, you'd be too strong. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's, it's, it's too much. Mary <laughs> Sue, artist. They'd nerf me in the next patch. <laughs> Dude, that, I can feel that pile of Pokemon cards next to me, like, radiating. It's calling your name. They are, and it hurts! It hurts! Yeah, I was trying to min max being an being an artist, so they had to then to nerf me to, to balance it. <laughs> DM couldn't handle my build. Working on finishing up Flash Hound right now. Nice. Do you want to share any whips? Share any what? Works in progress. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll show uh, Saro. Oh, yeah. Send it to me in Twitter DMs so I don't uh, fan or see you anytime I type in the Discord.
speaking of Twitter DMs, I've got spam ones today. How much spam do you get on Twitter? Um, not a whole lot. I got extra because I advertised my Etsy store. Anytime you mention, like, commissions, Etsy store, selling anything, uh, stickers, pins, you'll get spam bots in your replies. I just call them comms in my Twitter posts, and I don't get that much spam. Yeah, then again, I don't, I don't really, I don't get that as much reach yeah. these days. <laughs> Man, join the join the party. <laughs> Carpal tunnel gang. Right. Here's Lore's work in progress of Seward's werewolf. He looks beautiful. I'm so excited to see this guy move. Oh yeah. Yeah. I should have sent it. Well, once he's done painting, like he's gonna look incredible. Yeah. The model itself, right now, I'm just like it looks all blocky, but it's only because there's no textures on it. It's like you stick the textures on, though, it's gonna look like straight out of a Hellboy comic. Fuck yeah! That's the the vibe I go for. Werewolves and Hellboy are pretty cool too. I didn't use them as visual refs though, because I forgot. <laughs> Good shit, good shit. Okay, my brain is breaking. I suddenly don't know what the back of people's heads look like. What did what did I do for Sophia? Uh I did I don't normal. Know. Okay. Let me just Copy paste. Sophia, guide me. That is almost exactly what I was doing, and it wasn't looking right. Close enough, I think, to find John Bigmore. Yeah, he'll be covered in hair anyway. Yeah. I may look like I know what I'm doing most of the time, but I do not. The Sometimes. most successful artists <laughs> are the ones who know how to fake it the best. Yeah. Sometimes I'll be making one of these refs for you, and I'm like, damn, I hope he understands this. <laughs> Trust me. I have, uh, I, I've had to work off of some pretty crappy refs. I, I definitely can. <laughs> nice. Or someone will just send me, like, a, like a freaking pick crew avatar. I'm like, can you make this into an, into a... A 3D model, I'm like, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Is there anything like? Do you want me to make it look exactly like this? Like, yeah, well, no, I want, I want it with this features, but I want it to look like a character, like this character's body. And I'm like, well, <laughs> I want it to look in the Yeah, please get a get a reference for God's sake. Yeah, if someone's this going is, to you for like a thousand dollar commission, they can do the ref first. Yeah, I mean, it's like, imagine if they made 3D movies or 3D animated movies without getting 2D concept art first. They just jump into Blender, jump into Maya, and start going at it with the sculpting tool. Nightmare. That's crazy. Nightmare, nightmare. Oh, too much you saw the wolf's toes. <laughs> there we go. We can't this we one can't does have toes. Here.
I mean, he doesn't get he doesn't get toes on this on this one. Anti toes. Fine. <laughs> Yours won't get toes either. <laughs> Sophia had toes because I, I gave her little claws. Necessary. This guy's just a normie. <laughs> Sorry, Tom Hunter. I didn't think you liked human toes anyway. Oh gosh, I had I saw this photo on Twitter of uh they had like this I don't even know if it was like a rubber Lightning McQueen toy. And they, someone had it stuck on their toe. <laughs> it looked like he was looking up at him all sensually while he was eating oh the toe. God. And Nessie, she loves cars. It's it's like her one of her favorite things in the whole world. And I sent that to her and she's like, No, what have you done? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Save. I don't want to like speak before it, it happens, but I might finish this bitch today. Hey, we're gonna see how far I get while we're streaming. I can get it done this weekend at the very least. But first, I am going to take a snack break so that I do not pass out. I will allow it. I wasn't asking permission. I still gave it. <laughs> All right, I will. Uh, would you like to entertain them in my absence, or do you want me to put it to the BRB screen? I can do it. Let's okay. do this. Okay, let me put it on. This this screen, so you're closer up. You're getting eaten by the chat a little bit, but you're good. All right, I'll be back. You'll still be able to hear me, but they won't be able to. Hey, you guys, want to see a magic trick? Want to see? You want to see a magic trick? Bull doesn't have channel point redeems, but uh, I'll just use mine. This is the only way I can entertain people on my stream because I'm not that funny. <laughs> There's that one. I need to have like hotkeys for these. Yeah, Book Taco is one of my favorites. I can't. I, I know somebody in chat came up with it once, and then just, just I just like you know what? I can do that. I can make that happen. <laughs> so I used it. Uh, just put it together, modeled the book, animated the book slamming me, and then using Vignon nodes made it smash me. Here's one of my favorites. It's called Brain Freeze. Don't you ever you ever have like a like an ice cream that's just slightly too cold and you bite into it? This is how it feels. Don't you just hate that? That's why I can't have ice anymore. That's why I can't eat ice anymore. Let's see what else we got. Let's see, and I don't think you guys can hear it. These also have sound effects, but because we're going straight through Discord, you can only hear my voice. We got hail, hail of arrows. This one's fun, if not a little bit uh, itchy. These are all black arrows from Lord of the Rings. I'm a little allergic. Everyone knows dragons are allergic to black arrows. Smog just happened to be deathly allergic. Didn't have an EpiPen on him. And Bilbo knew that. What else do we got? Oh yeah, and Fireball. This is the one that we're going to make for, for Bull whenever Bull's thing is done. There's sound effects? Yeah, there, there normally are sound effects. Uh, but, um, because they're tied to my Vignon, uh, you'd, you'd get it if I was the one hosting the stream, but we're just, uh, Bull's getting my voice from, from Discord, so I'm not exporting my sound. 
Wait, you can hear the sounds? Really? How? I'm, I'm actually perplexed. <laughs> well, can you hear the sounds? <laughs> well, that's awesome. I, I don't know how, but it's cool. <laughs> oh yeah, the screen sharing. Duh. I that I'm so, okay. Yeah. Duh. That one's gonna be fun for Bull. I think that your yeet is gonna look even better than mine because your all of your bones are gonna be like humanoid bones, so they'll just start flopping around. It's gonna look so much more cool, so much fun, more fun for you. What else we got? Oh yeah, and, and the the best one, the most, the famous one is the bonk. Everybody, any self-respecting VTuber needs to have some kind of bonk animation. If you're not gonna do a head pat, then you gotta have a bonk animation. That's important. Very important. I'm not a head pat kind of guy. I'm more of a bonk kind of guy, and I feel like Bull is more of a bonk kind of guy too. The frying pan was from um, this TikTok that we saw a long time ago that went viral forever ago, where it was like this dude from Florida having a cookout and this cro and this alligator comes out and uh, tries to attack the cookout and he like fends him off with a just a frying pan, just grabs a frying pan, just starts smacking it over the head and it runs away. And it was like this freaking 70 year old man. Get out of here. Get. So that's what we're going to use. That's what I used for mine. The, the ultimate weapon against dragons and all reptilians is a frying pan. What else we got? Oh, oh, this one. This is this is like the best part. Uh, so as a as the Lord Dragon, I can shape shift. See, like it's uh, and I can I create any form that I can create with my own hands. I can shape shift into. Uh, and one of my favorite shape shifting forms is my Sonic OC. We got any Sonic fans in the chat right now? Of course, this form's a little bit smaller. God, that looks crazy with the chroma key. Oh, it cuts out my eyes a little bit. Because <laughs> my eyes are yellow. <laughs> but yeah, this was actually the first model. This model I actually did design myself. So this is the first model I ever made for myself before making dragons and stuff. He does move around a little bit funnier. He is small. He's a widow small. And for whatever reason, he just can't look at the camera. I'm not really sure why. It's like he's got eye contact problems. I don't know. Looks like he did something wrong and he just refuses to look you in the eye. Looks guilty. Like, Lord, did you steal the... Did you steal all of my chicken wings? Like... No. No. I don't know. Lord, did you do a bunch of self-promotion on my stream? No. No. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> autistic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm appropriate. I'm accidentally appropriating autistic culture with my model. Sorry guys, I, I'm 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 a I'm a bit problematic, and now bull is a pro is problematic uh, by association. All right, with Toe Muncher, this one's for Toe Muncher. I have this channel point redeem called Show Beans, because uh, I get a lot of furries in my chat, and they wanna they want me to show beans. I didn't know what they meant, so I just made this for them. Nice. Oh, it smashed! <laughs> it, oh it smashed Lorbot too. Oh <laughs> if he's connected to me, I think it smashes him because he's connected to. He's like weighted to uh, one of the bones in the model. If he's in the world, then it won't smash him, but it'll oh smash God. him here. <laughs> <laughs> he got <laughs> squished. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like wait him to me now, just so he can get hit by all the same stuff as me. Oh yeah. Take 
damn it, idiot. What else we got? I'm pretty sure that's all the big ones. Uh, let me see. I think I have one, but they're not really up to date. Because I used to have an anthro form a long time ago, but I never, I never used it. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I remember seeing like um, I saw a YouTube short with that one in it. Yeah, like for one, it's not up to date because as you can see like the eyes pop out <laughs> it's still pretty cool I like yeah. the, the colors and textures on it yeah I really liked like the design for this one I like this the minimalistic clothes, clothing like a peasant clothing and yeah. I was trying to base his like main body off of the uh, the lizard people from divinity original sin I think they had the best, uh, the best lizard people. Nice. Yeah. Oddly enough, he does have better feet than my true form dragon. You could have copied and wasted them. I could have. I could have, but I uh, am not a smart person. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the eyes, but bloop, bloop. <laughs> they're, they're viable, honestly. They're very lizardy. Bleh. <laughs> yeah. yeah i don't know if i'll ever update this one because i i always consider the um the sonic oc to be my anthro form if i'm going to do anthro stuff i want it to be in the i want it to be in my sonic oc form you should make um, a digimon version a digimon version yeah which which digimon do you think i would model myself best off of well, you're a red dragon, so there's quite a long list. <laughs> I know, that's why I'm like, which one? Honestly, like, anything in the Greymon line would be good. I think it'd be cool if you had, like, um... Like, it went really wild with it, and you did, like, um... What stage is it? Like, a champion stage one? You just went fucking crazy, like, uh, let's see. Like, War Greymon. Ooh, I can imagine like a War Greymon looking Lord Dragon. The helmet would probably have like my my horned brow, my yeah. like and my yeah. I can make that work. And then my color scheme. Yeah, that would be really cool. If I be honest to God, if I War Greymon, ah! Lord, ah! <laughs> oh. that's the one. That's the name of the form it has to be. Honestly, if I finish my commissions in good enough time, I might design that for you. I would make it. That sounds I would make that. Hell. That could be my that'll be my anthro form. Nice. Nice. Just I like, could I could yeah. actually just use um Flash Hound's body as a base for it because he has like a very similar body to like war Greymon. yeah ripped to like, bite beyond all reason give you like really cool metal wings and guns oh yeah guns and cannons otherwise it's not a Digimon. that is true that is true and i do i do like guns i i, I am very fond of guns i put guns in all my fantasy games nice so my, my brother is out buying a snake right now. And when he, when he gets it, I, I told him to come show it on stream. So I'll warn if anybody's averse to snakes. But I think it's cool. What kind of snake is it? I forget what it's called. It's some, some sort of corn snake. It's like a really rare morph. And our local pet store had five of them today. And they've never had them before. And he went in to go buy crickets for our other reptiles. And he was like, oh man, I was so close to buying a snake today. They had my dream snake at the store. And I was like, well, I have that enclosure I've been using for caterpillars. And all my caterpillars are either pupated or I've released them because they're moths now. So like, you've got a full on bioactive enclosure ready to go. You can just use it, and he was like, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. 
I want to see how a cool snake. So I did a That's mission. Awesome. I have one caterpillar that's still pupating. I'll have to move her to a different container, but that's not going to be a problem. Fun fact, you can just grab a caterpillar out of the wild and keep it for a bit. Oh, Nessie's terrified. Oh, wait, not Nessie. Her sister is terrified of uh, butterflies and caterpillars. And there's a whole bunch of them that migrate straight past us to Mexico every yes, year. The, the monarchs. It's like her personal Armageddon. <laughs> That's so sad. I'm scooting back to the streaming page. She's literally like that SpongeBob and Patrick from that one episode with the butterfly. <laughs> Hold on. Since we're talking about it, I'll show pictures of my moths. Or at least one of them. Hey, if y'all don't like birds, look away. Natural selection is coming for you. There we go. This is Leopold. Aww. He's a giant leopard moth. It's the second one I wow. had. That's big. Yeah, it's big, big. The caterpillars are huge. Wow. Here's um, my first moth that emerged. Wait, this one's Leopold. The other one was Leroy. Leopold and Leroy. Huh. Yeah, I think uh, Leopold here was a female, because that's why it's much smaller than the other one. Because you don't know what gender they are until they, uh, they come out as moths. And they got like pretty little distinct patterns on them. It's so cute. What if they come out as non-binary? That is Instead actually, of mods. I mean, genetically that can happen. <laughs> Have you ever seen, um, I think it's like called chimerism, where it's like split down the middle. I've seen that in humans before. Yeah, I'll see if I can find a butterfly that has that because it's so cool. We're learning today. So in butterflies, there is the chance that they could come out physically half male, half female, and they'll yeah. look stuff like this depending on how dimorphism of their species is. Whoa. Yeah. Character design anybody? Character uh, inspiration? Some of them can get really extreme, because sometimes uh, dimorphism has completely different, like, wing shapes. So they end up, some of them end up, like, not being able to fly properly, which is sad, but Aww. it's still super cool. Like this one. This one is nuts. Wow, look at that. Yeah, everyone take notes, make a cool Chimera well, butterfly character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make like a whole race of butterflies, and then like the main character is a chimera butterfly because they're special. Yeah. They they yeah. can't fly, but they got two powers. Yeah. That's that's dope. You know what? No, yeah. no. I'm am take I'm doing that one. No, <laughs> copyrighting it right now. <laughs> we can all have one. No, just me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've got one caterpillar left that's pupating, and uh, that one's name is Lydia. She should emerge in the next, like, week or two. If she isn't dead, sometimes they die while pupating and you just won't know until later. Bring up bugs. Activate in special interest mode. <laughs> Special interest mode. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's the chisel. <laughs> oh yeah, but um, my brother has... Uh, he has a rough green snake, which is like a very thin, noodly green snake. She's very tiny. Um, her name is Macha. She's adorable. And he also has a chameleon, a panther chameleon, named Mojito. And he's a precious angel. Chameleons can be very aggressive, but we got like the the uh, 
Lottery with that guy is so, so gentle. Neighbor had this massive iguana, and they kept it outside in a cage. Or like in their garage in a cage. And uh, I would just walk into their garage to go hang out with it and feed it. And uh, one day it gets out of the cage, and um, like it bit me, right? Because I don't, I don't know, it's just, just like walking around the garage, and I didn't know what to do with it. So I tried to like, I don't know, pick it up and put it back in its cage. But I was just a little kid. I was like six, seven years old. And this thing was practically as big as I was. And it bit me, and um, I didn't tell anybody, obviously. You said that was an iguana? Yeah, it was a huge iguana. Holy shit, those things do not mess around with their bites. Like, was it bad? Yeah, it was pretty bad. I was bleeding pretty bad. Holy uh, shit, dude. But I, ones uh, that you need, like, stitches for. I don't think I needed stitches. I don't remember having to get stitches, but I remember bleeding pretty bad. Yeah, well, you're I think lucky. it more like it, I think it, like, ripped more of my skin more so than like bit down deep because like I, I pulled it off like really quick and i just threw it back in its cage and shut it and um you would think that i'd get i'd be afraid of iguanas from then on but it, it actually had the opposite effect where i was just like that was so like like i was scared at the in the moment i was crying in the moment but like later on i was like that was so cool like, <laughs> I was like this lizards are so cool <laughs> it's, nice. it's good that you had that response to it yeah got hit by a car and now I love cars like <laughs> <laughs> this man this man man he's an avatar <gasps> or uh, what do they call him from Navi, Jim Navi. yeah that's right the Navi section of um, of Disney World was insane. I've heard oh that. my god! They've got like one of the most elaborate animatronics on one of the rides. I've it seen was... videos of uh, that robot, and I'm like, whoa! Just That's seeing just like these arches. Yeah. Just you know, like they had like those the fake you know rocks that are look like they're floating. God, that was. Like, the pictures don't do it justice. You know, you just, you have to walk under it yourself. Yeah. And they had one of those rides. <laughs> they had this one ride where they pretend to scan you and say that they're going to make you into your own avatar and then send you on a, on a ride on, on like one of those flying wyvern looking things. Yeah. And it's a total 3D immersive experience where, like, you sit on this this seat that has like moving looks. It feels like a moving saddle. So, like, it's completely, you're you know, you have your head in the 3D glasses. You have your, uh, it sprays water at you, completely immersive, and it just kind of moves you around. Nice. And there was this little girl that was in front of us, and uh, she was terrified <laughs> because, like, she um, she thought that she was having a full on existential crisis, like. <laughs> as if she was really being scanned by the computer to make an avatar. And she's like, I don't want it to take me. And like, I don't want it to take my, to take my name or something. And I was like, damn, this, this little girl understands like the existentialism behind this better than most of these adults do. She had to be like eight. <laughs> All right. Damn. Calling your brother a snake. That's so mean. <laughs> Gotta go see the snake. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good ride, guys. Like, I had a good time at, at Disney. It was my first time at Disney World, and we were there for like a whole week. And um, I got to say, though, there were only like two out of the four parks. So we went to all four parks and Universal stuff. I think Universal was better than Magic Kingdom by like a huge long mile. But then again, I'm not like a Disney adult. So like, I imagine if I was more of a Disney adult, Magic Kingdom would have just been more my thing. But uh, the rides at Universal were unmatched incredible uh, the fastest some of the fastest freaking roller coasters i've ever been on specifically the veloci coaster that was next level man that was the only one we wanted to go on twice worth the wait despite the absurdly long lines it was a good time i am back 
Welcome back. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I have the snake in, uh, in my hands. It's in his box, but um, let me see. I'm gonna wait to like actually show him properly um, until my brother pop, pops in on the stream because he wants to see. <laughs> All right. I want to see it too. Hi, Ollie. Okay. I think my brother's watching on Ollie's too. So, yeah, everybody hears a snake warning. You're not there yet? Okay, now he's here. Uh, if anybody is afraid of snakes, look away. And I'll also warn that this particular morph of snake has, like, kind of a bug eye thing going on. And if you have problems with Weird eye things that might that might be a problem for you, so just be aware. Here it comes. It's a little baby. It's a little baby baby. Oh my goodness. He's very, very small. Here's my hand next to him. I don't know how old he is, but I know he's itty baby. I'm trying to get it at a good angle. I'm sure my brother's gonna take a bunch of pics of this baby and we'll send them in my server. <laughs> He's got <laughs> eyes like my, my anthro model that pop out of his head. Yeah! <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny when I walked up and saw the snake and I was like, oh, there it is. <laughs> if I can get any better angles of him. It's, it's in the container, it's kind of hard for my camera to focus on him. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought it was funny that Miller turned around. <laughs> well, the power the of three dimensions. I'm going to return him to uh, his new father, and he will get better pictures and share them in my server. Hide my camera. There we go. <laughs> now your face is like right on your character's tits. <laughs> Somebody has better clicked that. <laughs> it's okay. It's one of my own characters. No. It's totally cool. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. There's your child. Go get pictures. Love you. Oh, I'm Oh, and put Lydia in the box. Move Lydia. Human, though, true, though. Actually, you're right. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Disgusting. Eh. Eh. Actually, it's not a human. It's a changeling. It's different. I mean... Still, it's it's, it's human flavored. Well, I, I'm a I'm a shapeshifter too, so we're like the same. Can be turned into a dragon. No. Yeah, what thought? I could turn into a human. What color are his eyes? You might have said that in your life. Brown. Brown eyes? Mm hmm. The best color. I'm gonna have to hide the news for a second so I can actually see. <laughs> Sorry, Tail Hunter, we'll get you some proper toes later. Don't encourage him. <laughs> no, I'm an enabler. <laughs> I 
it's funny there's um we i live in a fairly small town so whenever we have like our pride festivals you know they're not too not too big but they're kind of big um and there's like a couple of people only like maybe a couple of people who go fursuit to these um and two of them are dragon fursuiters and i'm just like there is a very high chance that if they were on TikTok within the past year, they know who I am. <laughs> Would you ever and get that, a dragon fur suit? No, not in a million billion years. Wait. I'm not into the. I'm not into that stuff. I, I'm not against it, but I'm just like I'm not. That's not for me. Um, but I just think it's funny because I had a huge dragon furry audience over on TikTok for a while, and um, I'm just saying this like statistically, they might know who I am. And walk past me and not even realize it. <laughs> it's possible. Could be. Hey, Tom Hunter says they like me better than you. Until Neo's dragons. Wait, what? Hang on. Oh, it like oh, like <laughs> likes you better than the grumpy. Hey, grumpy <laughs> is my brand. Okay. Grumpy is 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 also Bull's brand, and the fact that I that you like them means that I'm succeeding at it better. <laughs> my my brand isn't Grumpy. My brand is Sinner, which sometimes means Grumpy. This is a house of heathens. Oh, okay. You know, honestly, if I was like more physically fit, and I had a lot of money. Um, I would, I would maybe consider getting a costume suit of bull. It wouldn't quite be a fur suit because he's not like furry shaped, but it would still be like a full body suit. Well, they do have these uh, silicone torsos that are that look insanely ripped, and they yeah. can they can make anyone just completely ripped beyond reason. A friend of mine bought one. He regretted it and wanted to sell it immediately after. But uh, he made a few TikToks with it, and it, <laughs> it was pretty funny. Nice. God, because he like he's kind of built like a like a dad. So whenever he put that on, he just like he looked kind of like bull <laughs> because it like puffed out the abs a little bit because he had like a naturally round body, yeah. and he just looked like he looked at me and he's like oh man I, I had no idea that i wanted anchor arms until now oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah my problem is like i am so narrow in my game i have like no meat on me at all so if i wanted to wear something that made me look like bull i would have to be super padded and i'd probably overheat yes you would yeah the silicone torso is like retain all of your body heat yeah. you can't sweat so you just you just you just cook you yeah. boil you literally boil i've like my whole life i've had problems with like easily overheating my body's terrible at regulating this temperature and i'm on um anxiety meds now that exacerbate that so that's like never gonna happen fantastic i love meds that add new problems yeah it's worth it though i love my anxiety meds i love being medicated yeah, me too. Yeah. No, I mean, I love you being medicated too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if, if you, I don't think I've like talked to you before being medicated. I was so nervous all the time. Like I, um, I was talking to my brother earlier about it today because I'm like, oh, I fucking love my meds. I used to like, be on the verge of panic at like all times any small problem or slight inconvenience could send me into a panic spiral it was awful that does sound terrible it's it's so bad it's so bad but i like i've never felt more normal in my life after getting meds so hey y'all if you are ever uh dealing with crazy amount of anxieties for seemingly no reason you might have an anxiety disorder. <laughs> yes, drugs, drugs, drugs. What are you doing? Hmm. Oh, I'm testing a model. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're making faces and no sound. I'm like, what are you doing? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm testing Flash Hound. Something's wrong with his his lip sync. Not really sure what. Oh wait, I think I do now. <laughs> so Mike just says four because your mouth was open. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you can't escape. Not even off your own sleeve. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I know what's wrong with it now. But yeah, like if something was like wrong with the A key, so whenever he opened, it just basically anytime he opened his mouth, it was for some reason clipping his cheek into his mouth. I don't know what was wrong. It was the smile, smile expression. A toes are with you always. No. <laughs> Damn, nobody clipped you motorboating your character. What a crime. So sad. Man, I should have done it. I could have done it. You like, could have done it yourself, you're right. Wait, can you clip on a chimp? Uh, have... I, honestly, I don't I don't view a lot of streams, so I don't even know how to clip. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it, you wouldn't be able to now. You'd have to, like, clip it from the VOD itself. Because there's, like, a time limit, but if you mouse... Over the the stream, there's like um, one of those director clacking uh, things. That's what you click to clip. Damn. Damn. Oh, <laughs> we were just talking about bugs and butterflies, and one of my friends sends me a bunch of pictures of taxidermy moths and butterflies that she's seeing right now, and I'm like, I need it. I have a lot of framed bugs. I have fun hobbies. Yeah, I can probably still grab it from the pod, but it's not a problem. Nah. I'm sure the internet will will survive a little bit longer without it. <laughs> without seeing you motor your character. For now. <laughs> it won't be the last time. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was an idiot and I didn't have um um VOD saving for my first stream. I forgot to Put that setting on. But I did have it. I did have OBS recording for the whole first stream. So I have a giant 8 gigabyte video just sitting there. <laughs> His body is clipping through his sweater again. Uh-oh. No. Really? Lippy, I blame you. Uh, not really. It's fun. It kind of seemed right like now. a, kind of seemed like a Stardew Valley kind of game, and I never really could get into those kinds. 
It kind of is. It has a you have to care for your cult members aspect, but it's a lot of, um, a lot of combat. I never actually played it myself because it's very, very button mashy, and that would destroy my hand. But I've watched my friends play, play it. Never played Final Fantasy 16 then. Yeah. There's a lot of games that I just can't, I physically can't play anymore. Hopefully that gets better in time, but like I, I probably shouldn't push it for a while. Fair. You play all the Fire Emblem games while you recover. <laughs> Those are pretty light. Maybe. I have one Fire Emblem game that I just never played. It was gifted to me by a friend. They're like, have you played this? And I'm like, no, I haven't. They're like, I'm buying it for you. I'm like, okay. And I just never played it. It was a sweet gift, but I just didn't do it. Ah! No, I've been there. My sister buys me games sometimes. And I just never played them. <laughs> like, she'll <laughs> gift them to me, or, like, she'll share them on Steam or something. But she's into some of these building games, like Minecraft. Yeah. And I, I'm just, I can't, I can't really do building games. Not my theme. Unless it's Fallout 4, oddly enough. Like, that's, I'll build forever in Fallout 4. Yeah. Hey, everybody who's in my server, there's somebody that it is uh, Mighty Art's birthday. No wish, no wish him happy birthday in the general chat. This is a call to action. Happy birthday. I'm taking a little hand stretch break. Stretch that hand. Stretch, stretch, stretch. They have more crackers. Apologies for the crunch sounds. I'm not the hell is crunch. You just, you just get to hear the, the filter crunch. It's more impressive if I like eat right next to the mic, but I'm not gonna do that today. Bull ASMR. No pay for that. Oh, that's on the OnlyFans. <laughs> and now I'll at least get um, these base views done for him today. His clothes aren't crazy complicated, but the um, his sash with all the knives and stuff. That one's gonna be what takes a while. It's gonna take me forever too. Like mm -hmm. I still haven't done the weapons or the belt for Sophia yet because it's like the least fun part because it's yeah. a lot of straps and stuff. Like it's necessary for the design, but I'm like, I don't want to do it. Why do you think I didn't redraw it every time? I didn't Like, there's enough references of what this real-life item looks like. I don't need to draw it. Yeah. And it's not like she's going to have it out all the time, so... Yeah. That's going to be fun to animate whenever I get to that point. Yeah. Man, I love my captions. They're, like, really accurate most of the time. They are surprisingly accurate. Mm -hmm. It's very impressive. I think it's powered by, um, by Google's voice to text. Google's just recording all of our conversations right now. <laughs> I mean, it is because I specifically asked it to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When I said Kiwi Bats, I think it was last night, but uh, it said cute instead of Kiwi. Damn, Google, are you flirting? <laughs> <laughs> Stretch them. I've had a cracker. I'm good.
Shadow Tree impulsively buying the snake. I need to buy me a snake. You should. As one of my good buddies back in college, he was, um, him and his twin brother were like huge people, massive power lifters. Um, I didn't train them, but I worked, I trained people while they were at the gym and we would just, I would always talk to them. They were impressive in every imaginable physical way. They would champion, they would be the champions of every powerlifting meet, strongman competition, massive, massive dudes. Uh, one of them was just a little bit bigger than the other and it was we liked it because he's like the younger of the twins so we always made the joke that he just got like five more seconds of his mom's nutrients and that's why he's so much that's why he's bigger than his brother <laughs> but he works at a reptile house or like a reptile um a pet store where they had all kinds of huge snakes uh little they had like this little alligator looking thing uh and uh, I went to visit him while he was working there because I didn't even know he worked there for a while. And I, I walk in and he's got this giant python on his shoulders. S dude said he weighed like 60 pounds, just like sitting on his shoulders, walking around with it all day. Yeah. And he, he lo he's sitting here looking like a James Bond villain because he's just a massive monster of a man with a giant python just on his shoulders looking you dead in the eyes. He stands a head and shoulders taller than everybody. And then he's like, hey, you want to see me feed it? And then he, like, he just grabs a mouse, a live mouse, flicks it, kills it instantly, and feeds it to the, to the fucking snake on his shoulder. And I'm like, uh, I, I can't help but feel like that was a threat. <laughs> I know it wasn't, but my mind is telling me that it was. Those vibes are immaculate. I need to take notes. <laughs> Get bold, a big pet snake. And just send it on the shoulders. Yeah, and there's just this fucking kill mice right in front of people and feed it. <laughs> <laughs> this could be you. Watch out. Uh, and then he fed the little alligator thing kind of the same way, and that thing was fast. Like, it just kind of stood there at first. We thought it practically looked dead. But then whenever he opened the, the hatch and dropped its food in there, it just jumped. Yeah. It went supersonic. Deal? I have no idea. It's, it was some kind of li tiny little alligator thing with a little skinny head. I mean, it could have just been an actual alligator. I think it's legal to keep those with permissions. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I get these permissions? <laughs> you can uh, apply for a license. Or you could just you keep one illegally. You just don't tell anyone. What do you think, Flippy? You want to be roommates with an alligator? <laughs> I don't think he liked that. Honestly, not recommended. It's a like a major commitment to properly care for an alligator. I'm sure it'll be. Fine. <laughs> there are people that will just take baby alligators from the wild and try to keep them as pets. And those poor things are just so neglected because nobody actually knows how to take care of them. There was a lady who was breeding emus in my hometown. And yeah. she didn't know how to take care of them either. And um, one day she just dies and they all get loose and now they're just out breeding in the wild outside my hometown so sometimes oh. you'll just be driving around holy shit yeah she just lived alone and no one was there with her so they just she, when she died they just got out and nobody knew she was dead for like two weeks so because she lived out there by herself that's so, crazy yeah now that there's emus just out spread out there's not they're not like an invasive species so they just you know that's not too bad but Nobody wants to, no one cares to do anything about them. They're not a nuisance to anybody. She lived far enough away that they just kind of are populating that area. Hold on, I gotta order our DoorDash. Thank you. 
Christ, why is that so expensive? What happened? Because it's a DoorDash order. Oh, I see. Hold on. Started my housemates for putting too much in the order. Whip their ass. My credit card can only handle so much. I got a lot of my funds tied up in Fiverr right now. And I'm like, I'm starting to kind of run low on like cash on hand because like fiber have you have you ever done like business through fiber before no because people tend to low volume there yeah i have to upcharge in order to like offset fiber's fees but some people just swear by it like they i do get a decent amount of business from it but it's like i try to try to subtly convince them to move off platform but they just it, once they've decided they want to do business through fiber they don't want to move and i understand but yeah. It sucks because once they pay you, you uh, it takes two weeks for Fiverr to process the money Oof. and then another three days after that for you to withdraw it. So I like I have a bunch of money tied up in, in Fiverr right now. I'm like, OK, guy. All right, Fiverr. Um, any day now. That's stupid. Starting to need some groceries, Fiverr. Bruh. Is this skin color for him fine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that works. I want to see... Like pale, but not too pale. I want to see what he looks like if I give him, like... Some beard shadow. I don't know if I can make it look good, but I'm gonna try. I need to figure out how to make... How to put down shadows like that. Because sometimes I struggle to determine where I should put shadows on people and on things yeah i get you no i'm not liking this one bit <laughs> I tried drawing, um, or I tried modeling in a beard onto another model from from my books, and it can't, it just does not look good. <laughs> uh, I could not make it look good at all. I really think that when it comes to like five o'clock shadow and stuff, just kind of drawing the lines like how you got them works the best, even on three D models. Yeah, a bigger beard is easier because it's just hair, but when it's like thin like that, it's like. Uh, uh. Mm. You can't say that on Twitch or you'll get banned. Oh shit. <laughs> that was the finest shit. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I first saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it, man. There's no fucking way. Everybody report poll now. <laughs> Alright. Okay. 
come with those other ones later. I think once I get Flash Hound finalized and ready to go, I'll start working on Bull a little bit. <laughs> Before you get going on him, can I point out the part that I bungled on my wrist? Oh yeah. Okay, because like, like, there is a spot where it's easier to notice and fix. So, um, his side profile, the bump here should probably be reduced a lot, because um, from like a three-fourths angle, you're still supposed to see both of his eyes, and I'm, by doing that and giving him too much of a prominent brow line, I gave him more like, I don't know how to describe this except for like, horse eyes, like prey eyes, when they go sideways. Okay. So, so wait, that's so that's what you eyes. want. Yeah, okay, want, so you want. Hmm. I, I want him to be like more like the three fourths to do here, where you can see both eyes when he turns like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Six six. Alright, my roommates are committed to buying all this food. They're paying me back for it, I guess, so that's fine. We're having a day. Okay, food order. Yum yum. We're wearing chilies. Trashy's of, food in the West. One of our housemates got um, a craving for a chili's queso, and I was like, oh, I want that. <laughs> Welcome to Chili's. <laughs> So just let me know when you're like about to need to go. We can go on your time. We can do what? Uh, let me know whenever you're like needing to go. Because we can just go based on your time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I probably got at least another. Right? I got probably like a good 50 minutes before I have to get out. Cool, cool. Or at least start getting ready to go. Stay strong, Kiwi. Let the pride empower you. Why are you watching me in a pride parade? Stay engaged in the event. I appreciate you taking me along, at least. You're a part of the parade. Full pride float win. Nice. I hope y'all are having a great time. Hmm. 
Not to be like a sudden bummer on the Pride Talk. I haven't been to a Pride Parade in a while and I don't know if I can uh, for I don't know how long because I live in Florida. Yeah. So y'all had better all enjoy Pride Parades on my behalf. All right. I'll tr I will try my very best to be at least a little bit gay today. Nice. For you. Just add a little fruit flavor. Yeah. It's like put a little bit of Mio in, in there. <laughs> Crystal light. Thank you so much, Kiwi. I can be super loudly clear online. Florida can't take that away from you. Not yet. Not yet. Damn. Can't have nothing. I see Twig! Hello! Oh yeah, secret point here is a great idea, Kiwi. Mm. Being a changeling can't fix that. <laughs> It's perfect. Cicadas are going nuts today. I wonder what they would sound like through your voice filter. They would sound insane. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could pull cicada sounds up on my phone and we could find out. <laughs> <laughs> I might. 
This is the anti-ASMR channel. <laughs> we make you feel bad. Yep, I thought about it for more than two seconds and gave it. You just give me one clip. Without commentary, please. Sorry, here it comes. Uh. <laughs> it sounds like a spirit box. It kind of sounds like a, I don't know, like a rusty motor. Yeah. Did that wake y'all up? <laughs> It made me go even further to sleep. <laughs> I saw my mind going into the red, and I was like, oh. No, you're only three followers away from hitting 50. Oh, am I? Yeah, you're almost there. Jeez. Really, the hurdle is just going to be getting the, the seven days done. I don't think so. You're almost halfway there already. Oh, yeah, but how, how much can I keep this up frequently, you know? Well, I mean, once you got the affiliate, you don't got to keep it up. Yeah. It's the, the getting there now is the, the hurdle. When's your surgery? Um, it's August 3rd. Oh, yeah, you'll get it. Yeah, I'll get it within yeah. the next couple weeks, I'm sure. If they respond. Yeah, just let it cook for like a week after you get all the requirements and then make your first uh, attempt. Because like, like I said earlier, like if you uh, try to do it like the minute that you hit 50, then um and then you send in like hey can you here's my request to become affiliate uh they might reject it because they just haven't recorded that you've gotten all the requirements at that moment and then yeah. they spend two weeks responding to your additional for uh, this two weeks just to say no whenever you clearly do have it nice. where if you waited a week then they will respond after seeing that you have everything you need you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give it some time to cook, but, um, I do know, like, mid-July, I'm gonna have to take, like, a long time off streaming because I'll have family in town. Ugh, family. <laughs> I'll have family in town, and then on the last week of July, I'll be going home to Texas for, like, a week and a half, I think. Bull lore IRL meetup plan. <laughs> I don't know if you um, live close to where I did. Uh, I, I don't. I, I've been all over Texas, but um, I right now live far away from everything, from every well, major city. How close are you to um, uh, the DFW area? Six hours. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Not impossible, but that would be your part of the drive. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a hell of a drive. Texas besties. If there's ever a convention in Texas. Oh, there's a bunch. Especially in the uh, Dallas Fort Worth area. That's where Akon is, I think. Yeah, I used to table there. Long time ago. There's a very or how long ago? Because there's a very good chance we may have crossed paths and didn't even realize it. Oh, we do that. Like five or 
six years ago. Damn, there's a very good chance that we would have like crossed paths <laughs> if, if you were in, if you were in Artist Alley, and we didn't even know. It's possible. I um, I used to be super into One Piece, and I had some One Piece stuff for sale at one point. And I had some Pokemon stuff. I didn't have a whole lot. I always shared a table with someone else. Yeah, if you had a One Piece table, I was almost certainly there. <laughs> at least looking at it, because I... That's like my... That's my anime obsession, is One Piece. Yeah. It, you know what? I'm gonna pull up some other One Piece stuff. And it'd be funny if you'd be like, Oh, I bought that poster! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I might have! <laughs> it's entirely possible. Let me look up real quick. I don't... Oh, wait, no, I don't have to do this on TV. I have my old... Convention folder on size still. Okay. It's a lot of give it a second. Okay, here's some One Piece stuff. I had this crazy ass giant collage of a bunch of characters. This was one thing I had for sale. That's my poster. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a good looking poster, though. Thanks. There's a it's good chance I would have, like, stopped to look at that. And there's this sick ass Luffy. Uh, yeah. Now, it's possible you might have just run into this one in the wild on the internet, too, because one of the uh, major. Translation sites for the manga took this without asking and put it in the fan art section. No. Yeah, I'm like, well, thanks, I guess. Yeah, like, thanks, but also, no. Yeah. <laughs> and this uh, Doflamingo thing, I, at one point, drew an entire poker deck full of One Piece characters. And I'll definitely show that in a second, because you might have seen it, you might have not. Here's another thing I had for sale at conventions. Nessie loved Doflamingo. Doflamingo was my bae. Love him, I hate him. And then this one of the straw hats. Those are my main posters I had for sale. And then... Let's see... Let's find the card deck. Okay. Here we go. It is a whole lot. I can just send this to you later, but I I like I have these physically made. Oh wow. That would be wonderful. I've been that considering so doing a reprint, but I need to have, like, enough people asking for it. Otherwise, it's not worth it. Yeah, yeah. Still, this is incredible. Thank you. And Nessie came, like, came, walked in on me watching, like, the Doflamingo arc. And she, that was her first introduction to One Piece, and she got hooked. Kind of. Like she right now we're we're starting the series over so that she can get caught up in all the context because she just started watching at the Doflamingo arc with no context, <laughs> nice. but still just got hooked. Yeah, I had um, a joke Doflamingo ask blog on Tumblr at one point. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I basically took Doflamingo and then turned him into, like, entirely a joke character. All of the drawings were like this, and I just called him Giant Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> they were all stupid as hell. Let <laughs> me find the Christmas one. There we go. That's Nobody needs this. And I provide it anyway. Nessie would unironically love that. She loves Christmas. 
I might still have stickers for sale of that bitch. <laughs> Oh Christ. No, what have you done to my boy? <laughs> <laughs> I've killed him. He's dead. I also had a Marvel ass blonde that was not a joke. Um I I tried to do him a little justice. Then I had at one point I tried to have a group one. But I lost the login and for too late and he died. Oops. I have been struggling with the getting Flash Hound's model done because it's every time I report it, it always has like one tiny little bug on it. Oh. Just like one tiny little thing that's clipping weird or one tiny little thing that's not quite working with the lip sync. Then I have to do the whole report process again. I'm sending your strength. I think I got it this time. Go, go, go. All right. What a sad, stinky little man this is. <laughs> I like it. He looks gruff. He's like, don't, yeah. don't look at me. <laughs> Do not perceive me. That's right. I did not consent to being perceived. <laughs> I love how they stick around for a while too, even if they log off. Yeah. It gives, some, piled on. Uh, it gives a lot of grace in case they like accidentally disconnect. Flip. I had to make Dracula bigger because he was super tiny. That's like twice the size that he was supposed to come as. <laughs> I guess the Castlevania ones are like super little. They are, unless it's one of the monsters. There's a Minotaur that came pretty big. And I almost had that as mine, but then I saw Diablo and I'm like, okay, all bets are off. Diablo. Claimed. <laughs> I need to find a pixel artist that's like very, very good. Because I want to make a custom one of these little guys for gold. Figure out how to do the boss fight thing with stream avatars and have people boss fight bull. I should figure that out. You're right. That would be super cool. But um, something that's funny that the Diablo sprite does is some characters have a sit animation. Some of them do nothing. And if they have like a death pose and not a sit pose, that goes where the sit command is. So watch this. He fucking dies. Oh. <laughs> you attacked me as I was as I was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Let him die in peace. <laughs> you let your guard down. There, I killed him again. His death pose is so fucking funny. Whenever I make um, Bull have a custom sprite, I'm gonna keep that because it, it makes me laugh. And his sick command is gonna make him do a family guy death pose. He just died. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave him like that.
need to have like a I need to make up like a really funny idle pose for whenever I'm like when I need to go to the bathroom or something or go to my BRB screen I just like I don't know I've seen some VTubers do this thing where like it looks like they're a ghost like their ghost is leaving their body and they just sit there and like snore and people can just throw stuff at them or something <laughs> you should family guy death pose <laughs> As Lord Dragon, that'd be yes. crazy. <laughs> it would look awful and hilarious. How many more followers do you need, Scary Cat Monster? Um, A thousand. Three. <laughs> I need three more followers to hit the threshold, but I still have to stream for like uh, four more days. And then I actually hit the requirements. I know it's like, oh, yippee! Thank you for the follow. Uh, freaked out. Freaked out. Hi! I was gonna say, um, I, I know it's like legally dubious to play video game music on your streams. Because it's, it's harder for them to get caught by copyright bots since people play video games on Twitch. But, um, like, I'm, I'm like, can I just no. keep doing it? Am I going to be fine? <laughs> I actually never thought of it that way. I've never played video game music on my streams, but only because I, I guess I just never thought to do that. Yeah. Like, my, um, my full stream playlist that I put together is all video game music. Huh. I guess it makes sense. I guess just, um, I know there are some video game tracks that even if you're playing the video game, get copyright stricken. Like some people were even getting strict copyright stricken from playing Tears of a Kingdom. Yeah. By the composer of the game. So it's not yeah. like they were getting copyright struck by Nintendo. It was by the composer of all fucking things. Imagine yeah, getting mad that people are streaming your video game. One game that I know is usually safe to use is like uh, Maple Store music. Their copyright bots are almost non-existent. Every every commentary YouTuber I watch right now uses Maple Story music in their background. Uh. But I mean, it's one of those fuck around and find out kind of things because you never know when they're gonna notice. Yep, it's kind of what I'd be doing all the time. <laughs> I might as well at this point. Now that we figured out the whole like channel points on YouTube thing. Yeah, why not? I have no masters. There are no strings on me. <laughs> yeah, your chilies is on the way. I think this hair is going to be... I like the way that you draw the hair because it's like very clear and easy to model. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. Sometimes with like anime hair, it's not exactly clear where like the chunks go. Cause like, you know, like in, in hair, it's like chunks, yeah. you know, we're cartoons, but in anime, sometimes it's just like an amorphous blob. Yeah, I get you. I can do an amorphous blob, but that's just not what my default is. <gasps> Yippee, thank you for the follow. Alan the Gamer? Oh, Elaine Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> the capital was lack of capitalization and put that in one word. Alright, you just got the one more. Yeah! One more, one more. Let's go! I think my music stopped working on shuffle. Yep. 
YouTube is weird. Sometimes the shuffle will just stop, and I'm like, thanks. Thanks for that. Well, it's different if the buns are blobs. That's that's different, but like it's just it's a it's nice to have like very clear outlines as to where like the strands of hair are if we're if you're getting it like 3d model if you're just drawing it you can do whatever but like for a three if you're making it as like concept art for a 3d artist it can be very difficult to parse yeah. where the outlines are supposed to appear because if um if you don't have any outlines on your hair reference then there's not going to be any outlines on them on the finished model either because we're going to have to model it as a big blob of hair except for where it separates but if they mark clearly like well, this is where i want the strands to be because that's where the outlines are then um i can model it one to one almost the same i tried my best like I, yeah. when i was drawing um sophia's hair something about her hair shapes broke my brain for a bit Ah, thank you for the follow a woo a woo me. Uh, so there it. we go. We've done We've it. We've done it. Celebration. I'm gonna Yay. take all of the credit. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna blast my <laughs> soundboard. You're gonna disappear for a second while I while I click soundboards. <laughs> chaos, 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 chaos. Yippee! Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's my my celebratory farts. I love that you the the whoopee sounds just like you, but uh, but it's like bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, the, the yippee is the sound that plays when people follow me. And like when Wait. I hear it, when I hear it through OBS, it, I compulsively have to go yippee with it. Okay, okay. I, I was about to freak out for a second. I was like, "Wait, that wasn't you this whole time." <laughs> <laughs> if I turn the voice mod off, I can get pretty close. I can make it sound just like that. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Thank you all for coming to hang out. We're that much closer to affiliate now. Now it's just a matter of time. First affiliate, then the world. Yes. I don't think I'm going to get there today, but I have to do something funny when I get to 69 followers. I don't know what, but I have to think of something. <laughs> you want me to have bean redeems? I don't have beans. Unfollows. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can, you know what? I can show you what bull's toes look like. I don't know if they'll do it for you, though. You find them. Again. These are his toes. He's got like little hoof pads down there. That's almost kind of like a bean, but they're flat. He is a cow. He don't boo. Does this do it for you? Does that do it for you? Tell my you? I am not entertained. <laughs> Pointing beans, yes, correct. Teeny tiny little beans. The beans under the hoof. That sounds so uncomfortable. You. <laughs> He's got a hoof pad under there anyway. He doesn't need it to be inflated like a bean. 
Now your hooves are like soft and squishy like a bean instead of being soft hard. That makes me so uncomfy. I'll make sure my redeems are fun. I don't know. I don't know how I would do beans, but I'll figure something out. Just do like mine with like the the gigantic beans falling from the sky. <laughs> no, it's in my case. It's cans of baked beans, and it makes a bajillion bomb sounds. There we go. It rains cans of like like fifty cans of beans, and you just have the worst pipe bonk sound effect. <laughs> no, I think I think my official bonk one should be like um Hellboy's fist falling on my head. Which I'm pretty on sure exists as a free asset somewhere. Definitely on brand. Cyril, I don't think I want you to know that. I don't even want to know what that looks like. I'm picturing it and I hate it. Thank you for the cursed information, Zero. I know I can count on you always. I'm gonna put beans in Zero's model's bottom jaw. <laughs> Ew. Ew. He lifts his tongue and there's beans in there. Look like a can- no, I'm gonna make his mouth look like a camel's mouth. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, a coyote redeem, um, like not to spoil anything, but I'm gonna spoil it. I was considering, um, turning coyote's ref into a PNG tuber and having them read my streams sometimes. So it's <laughs> a fictional mortal enemy. I have to make a, a different voice mod for coyote though. Make it even deeper and even more evil. <laughs> No, he's actually the nice one, and that's why Bull doesn't like him. Oh. Because Bull's evil. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh, I naturally have a southern accent. I have to repress it when I'm using... Bull's voice mod because I had to enunciate it incredibly clearly. But um, I think I can make Coyote's voice mod a little bit less intense than this, so it's you can hear his southern accent. Yes, we do. You're right, Zero. We can message about that later. If I play as Coyote on stream, it'll just be the voice I use when I'm in D&D. Well, Coyote is very fond of you, Kiwi. That's canon now. Okay, food should be here. <laughs> You're making the third worst city. Yes, Kiwi, that's where he came from. You've seen his baby pictures. Modeling. 
uh, I can't figure out what's going on with his uh, hoodie for whatever reason. Uh, oh, wait. Never mind. I just figured it out. Literally, right as I said, I couldn't figure <laughs> it out. Hey, sometimes you just have to talk through it. It's just magic. All right, there. Now he's done. He's ready to deliver. <laughs> God, I can't believe I spent the last two hours trying to figure this out, and oh it's, it was just a big, it was just a big nothing. Ugh. Hate three D modeling. I don't want to do it anymore. Time to retire. I'm quitting. I quit. <laughs> Sorry, Saro. Model's never gonna get done, but I'm keeping your money. This <laughs> run. Change your name. Move to Mexico. It's in my contract. Is it's under the uh, the scumbag clause where I reserve the right to be a total scumbag. <laughs> you know what? Since we're talking about him, we're going on a tiger duty tour. I have to show him. Let's see. Where did I put the picture that has every one of his versions in it? Uh, let's see. Here it is. Okay. This is my character, Coyote. He has a bunch of different iterations because he's my favorite. Aww. So the one up, it gets the no! Bulls covering him! Ah. There we go. Um, the one on the bottom left is the one that's Bulls Arch Nemesis. I am leaving out the best version of him because he's not real. Stop it, Zero. <laughs> There's, um, uh, Coyote's, um, a character in the lore of one of our DVD games. He was a, um, ghost hunter that died on the job. And our party encountered a trickster god that was using Coyote's face as his own, as a disguise. And I got the soul pissed! <laughs> <laughs> like the fun kind of pissed. Oh my That's god. That's the best kind of pissed. <laughs> yeah, my, my character in that game, like, idolized that ghost hunter, so when they saw the trickster god using his face, they were writhing with anger. Seething. Pope and seed player. <laughs> Hang on, I, I've just been working for like two hours on this model and I'm going to show it, god damn it. Please do. Also, yes, Black Coyote is watermelon flavored. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna eat him. You can I try. Like watermelon. <laughs> hey, look at that. Here, I'll, I'll turn the bowl off so you can see it better too. There you go. Yeah, I finally got him. This one doesn't have lip sync because it's... um using like the typical lip sync, but I can at least move them around. Yeah. That looks great. I like the motion on the gears. Yeah, finally, finally, finally got it. The problem I was having is that his hoodie was slightly clipping right here on his armpit when his arms were down. Yeah. And I could not figure out why, but I finally got it. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is what my abs look like IRL, by the way. I use myself as a reference. I mean, I, I, <laughs> you can say that, and I believe you, because I know what you used to do for a job. <laughs> no, I've never looked like this. this is really... <laughs> <laughs> Even at my most fit. <laughs> Beautiful. Freaking finally got that one done. Now I can... On Monday, focus all of my attention on Sarah. Whoops. Get blasted. I accidentally loaded up my cave. Hang on. I believe in you. There. Yeah. I'll pull back. Ah. No. I'm. I have to 
show because I thought about it too hard, but this is what he looked like in that campaign. And I'll find what uh, Matrix no. Dragon looks like. This campaign seems really cool. It's so fun. It is so fun. It is my favorite thing right now. We don't play this week, it's an every other week game. Okay. I find that those kind of campaigns last longer anyway. Yeah. We try at least. Okay, this is what the, the trickster guy looked like, and as soon as this icon popped up on our screen, I shrieked. I was like, you're fucking kidding me! You're kidding me! You can't do this to me! Anyway, yeah. I hate this guy. He's a little shit. Zero, I hope you tell baby that I'm, I'm, I'm roasting Trickster Dog Priority. I need to share some clips from that game. I have some, some gold. Do y'all stream your game? No, um, we do record it, but it's just so I can take notes. Um, I don't know if we'll ever share it. That would have to be a group decision. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was made to be, like, plausible deniability. This could be a different guy. But I'm like, no, you cannot fool me. You can't. You can't. Oh, I was so funny using the face of my dead idol. So hilarious. I'll kill you. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Um, there's, there were so many funny moments from our last game. When I go through and do notes, I'll take some clips. Fixing bull's eyes now. Yeah. So did you? You said you wanted them to be forward facing, but did you want the uh, the nose bridge to be pushed in as well, or did you want yeah, that if, still to look? If you need to push the nose bridge in to make it more flat, go for it. It needs to resemble the headshot on the left where the mouth is open a bit more. Got it. That was entirely my fault. Because I, um, I didn't perceive how a brow line would affect it. Resisting the urge to infer on the dot BMB. We don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. <laughs> Dude, what about DD? Info dump. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can hold back, I can hold back. Literally literally writes a book just to info dump about my D D campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like while while I don't we don't stream our game, my notes document is public. Like, people can just go read it. And I, it's incredibly detailed, so not much is lost at all. Just throw that bad boy in a, a, a text to speech. Listen to it like an audio book go off. Uh, my first, but the Portal Mage Saga really started off as like just me dictating uh, our campaigns into book form. Nice. And then I just like totally changed that like went off the rails like the character names are the same like Shalnark is based on a, my best friend's character and uh Sophia was off of another friend of mine nice and they just said like as soon as I wrote the books and they read them like yeah this isn't what happened but this is better than what happened <laughs> like <laughs> cause that's I tried true. to stay true to their characters as long as like I stayed true to their characters they didn't mind that's cool It's nice when you can do things with friends' characters like that. My webcomic that I had to put on break also included friends' characters. And I'm sad I had to put it down, but maybe I'll get back to it someday.
No, Kiwi. If you want the info dump, you can go find the document. It will take up the rest of the stream and stuff. We don't need it. We don't need it. I'm holding the autism back by a thread. Oh, something I can say though is um, before I went on my anxiety meds, one of the saddest problems I had was sometimes I would get so excited about something that the excitement would boil over into a panic attack. So pretty much before every D&D game, I had my pretty damn panic attack. <laughs> In the car, you're just like... <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting at my desk, like, bouncing up and down, trying not to pass out. If you need me to link the document to you, I can. It's, um... On the, the server, if you go to my toy house, and you find my character Fritz, um, the document's linked on their page. I think I fixed Bull's face. Let me see. Let me Good see. Kinda gave him a nose job. <laughs> Take him in for surgery. Let's just share that screen. You know, not gonna lie, this kind of works as like a collab stream too. Like if I was just like a tiny, like a tinier version of my screen in the bottom corner. Yeah. Do just working in Blender. Might as well, okay. honestly. Like, if we're gonna. Yeah, yeah. It'll be like in those TikTok videos where they have like 15 different things going on. Like, like though we they'll have like a Family Guy clip in one oh, corner, yeah. some mobile game in the right. We got Maze Runner. And then like a slime video in the bottom right. Nice. Alright, let's shrink you and clean you. You want me to just have it take the place of where you were sitting? Yeah, yeah, just so it's not like taking up too much space. It's kind of like the... I'm just kind of there. And I can cut off some of the UI. Oops. I grabbed the wrong thing. I can cut off some of the UI on the side. Oh, can I please select it properly? Thank you for the dancing. <laughs> <laughs> the chaos. Oh yeah, there you go. Let me shrink bull a bit. I forgot to shrink him from the last stream. I just noticed how massive he was. I don't remember where I left off. I believe in you. I think he's ready to paint, actually. Is he? I think so. He might be. Um... Uh... Yeah, I think so. You did some work. Yeah. 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 Alright, let's move him to Sudden Spanner then. Or make sure he's unwrapped. He might might need to unwrap him. wants to see a better picture of my brother's new snake, he just posted one in my server. Oh, he's so pretty. Aww. Sometimes you just need to buy a snake. Sometimes that's just how life is. I should say, never buy a snake on impulse if you don't know what you're doing. Never do that with any kind of pet. My brother 
there is a seasoned reptile owner. Almost done with the lines on the outfit from the front view. Bull is entirely um, symmetrical in design, right? Like, in, like if I was to paint. Yeah. Okay. One hundred percent. I mean, except like um, I think his tail has this like it's got the spiral pattern on it, so I don't think that could be done symmetrically. Uh, that might not be a problem. I can't wait to have sound redeems. I crave the chaos. Yeah, well, once you get that affiliate, you'll be able to use sound alerts. Yeah. He does not need beans. Stop it. <laughs> Being freaks. We don't need another tail muncher. We only need the one. But just that one bean, so it's going to look like a bunion. <laughs> it's going to look like an ulcer. Do you ever uh, go on weird YouTube tangents and find yourself like, how did I get here? Yes. <laughs> yeah, one, one that I've been on for a while is just videos of guys turning cow hooves. Oh god, me too. I'm. Those are all <laughs> over my goddamn, the hoof GP, the yes. fucking Nate the hoof guy. I can't stop. I can't stop. I watch those when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so glad you understand. That's why I'm like, I... uh, my knowledge of, of cow hooves is more than it should be. Yeah, okay, this is your white line. You see, we got a we got a rock in your white line. We're gonna need to trim some of that off. Oh no. He's Hang on, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do a toe. Hang on. I'm gonna be careful not to clip the corium. The corium! Hang on, we're gonna... Oh, it doesn't have enough polygons. Hang on, I'm just gonna like do some like serious subdivisions here just for fun. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna do a hoof trimming video for for ball. <laughs> <laughs> hoof trimming. What have we done? That would be funny as hell, but also really complicated. Don't do it. <laughs> it's actually not gonna be complicated. <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, <laughs> All right, now it's got like a, a fucking ton of um, subdivisions, so it should be at like a, a couple hundred polygons. Top Patreon contact, yes. You want me to pay to see this? Give me fifty dollars right now. Let's see. Or you know what, let's make them bigger, like too big first, so that way I have something to trim. <laughs> oh, you see something here's gone very wrong. We have to trim this over the world. I'm trying to do an Irish accent, but my, my voice bar is cutting it out. <laughs> As you can see, this half, this half out of here, 
She's in a lot of pain. Wait, I guess it's Scottish. She's, Scottish? she's really favoring. She's really favoring that left hoof <laughs> on the inner claw. <laughs> You're doing great. Just imagine the the relief she gets <laughs> when all that puss comes out. I, I can't do a pus on Blender, but you get just imagine. Just, I'm squeezing. I'm gonna squeeze it right here, and it's the oh pus comes out. <laughs> the ones where it makes like an audible sound are so wild. I'm like one gross, two nice, also that poor cow. <laughs> Sorry, Clay Pots, we're talking about cow hoof trimming. <laughs> uh, we got we got you to fifty followers today, and I'm gonna get you to zero by the end of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be hoof GP stands out in the audience. <laughs> I know, I know we're not the only ones. My, my hairdresser the other day was also on that tangent on YouTube. No. <laughs> it just, it, it, the algorithm's like, oh yeah, here we go. Everybody can look at cow hoof plus. We know what you really like. Yeah. Used to be beheading videos back on Facebook. Now it's cow hooves. <laughs> ah, yeah, we got another one. <laughs> one I, I can't help it. Yeah, but we can't cut too deep. We're starting to hit, starting to hit skin. <laughs> you see this piece back here is called the periodical horn. Not to be ready to care if the Corians right in there. I don't even know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of... <laughs> just fucking him right off. Yeah. <laughs> he goes into the hook trimmer's like, just fuck me right up. I want my Corian exposed, I want to be in incredible pain. I'm, I'm kind of sad there's not a way for me to like trim, actually like trim off this. You know, like actually, instead of it just sculpting, it like cuts it off. You can't? You can't no, like no. select it and then move it? No, it's more like clay, so you just kind of... Like I can push it around, but I can't like take this just by sculpting and then rip it off. Uh, if you see, like, I, can, I can do this. Watch this. There, I've killed him. <laughs> yeah, you can just take them apart. Well, I mean, I, I could do it, but it wouldn't be like in tiny little pieces, you know. Oh, you were like, mentioning beheading videos. Watch this. Ah! No! What have you done? <laughs> I've killed your son. He can't grow back his head. He can only grow back his limbs. <laughs> All right, all right, two can play at that game. Oh, no. The violence commences. All right, here we go. We're desecrating each other's characters here. <laughs> well, let me say that I can do way worse. Hey, are, are you allergic to bees? No. You are now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I think the chroma key is cutting some of that out. Oh, it is because yeah. it's because it's green. Let yeah. Me fix that. There. No, I got it. I just I just take out turn off the colors. Don't need them. I can just turn the chroma key off. Yeah, I guess we really don't need the chroma key anymore. Not right now. We don't. Remove. Yes, remove. There we go. You're normal now. Oh God! I look at him swell. <laughs> That was skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Here, let me, let me just fuck him right up too. <laughs> Whoops, that's incorrect. There we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is pretty cool, though, that you can do that. <laughs> We're at war. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna do? I wanna take away your pecs. No! Oh my god, I made it into an hourglass. <laughs> That's oh the hourglass god. body that everybody Whoa. wanted. I'm cool. I am doing things I've never done before. Accidentally hit save. <laughs> Dude. Dude, look at his feet! That looks so crazy. It's like it's 3D, but on with a 2D image. Yeah, it's, it's insane. What is happening? I don't even... Whoa. Whoa. Bro, he's existing in the fourth dimension right now. <laughs> what is this hand doing? <laughs> you look, you made Bull kind of look like a wasp. <laughs> that was a hell of a beep of a sting. Like, it turns you into the wasp. You got bit by the Spider Man equivalent of a wasp. Look at this fucking ass face. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh, no. There, I, I fixed your son. He's fine. He's normal now. Alright, alright, alright. Truce, truce. <laughs> For now. Truth, but watch out! <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm considering, like, pre-opening all the boxes for my Pokemon cards, so I just have, Ow. like, the, uh, the, the card packs in stacks, so I don't have to waste time on stream opening boxes. No, because that, that's a slippery slope. That, that, that's like, you might. It's, it's like it's like what people do, and like just just the tip, just the tip. It's not cheating. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We know we know what happens. I'll pull out. I'll pull out. <laughs> <laughs> It'll work. It's fine. My pull out game so strong. Yeah, you're, that's the problem. You're not supposed to pull the cards out yet. <laughs> Never changed his little guy. I feel like that's a lost opportunity. I'm sure there's at least eight Digimon that have beans. <laughs> Corey, let me open the boxes. Corey, please. Just a taste. You have a problem. I do. I can't go to Target without leaving my Pokemon cards. Just don't go to Target. <laughs> they they betrayed us anyway. Lick. Lick what? What am I licking? What are the boxes? I don't know whose hands have been touching those. I'm not going to try that. I can pretend to, though. Corey, do you want to aim for a Monday stream? <laughs> I want to do this as soon as fucking possible. I don't think I'll be able to tomorrow. Actually, well, I might. I might be able to tomorrow. I have to think about it. Corey, what are your weekends like? Next Thursday, I will die. <laughs> if I have to wait a whole week, it Sunday works. Do you have any uh, timing constraints for tomorrow? Or are you going to have your PNG done, or do you need to wait a bit? Part of what I was waiting for is just for 
record and have time to finish his own PNG tuber. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's give this a try. I think he's ready to paint. But unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have time to get started today. And if I don't... If I don't stop now, then I'm going to feel like... I'm going to be like, oh, I'm just, I'm just leaving something unfinished, you know? You gotta go. You gotta yeah, go gotta party. Go. Oh, there's Nessie right now. Yeah. Alright, yeah, I gotta go. Well, I'm 15 minutes late. <laughs> oh no, you idiot! I wish you told me what time! These are my last... I wasn't paying attention. Uh, these are my last words, everybody. Okay. As Love this phone rings... <laughs> huh? Love you, hate you. Get out of here. Love you, hate, hate you, love you. Goodbye, everybody. Bye! <laughs> I remove. I'm gonna disappear for a second. Hold on. going to uh, some sort of pride event with his wife. I hope they have a great time. <laughs> She's right. She's right. She's so, so right. Well, I got um, all the lines for your uh, Lore's character's base done today, and I got the lines done on the front view. I think that's great progress for today. <laughs> okay. And in my case, I am very, very hungry. I must nourish my body. Everybody remember to hydrate. Remember to eat. Take your meds if you take meds. Do your stretches, posture check, all those fun things. And I think we're gonna be winding down now. Let me see. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to see who to raid. Okay. Um, an artist I really love is streaming right now. They're not drawing, but they're playing, uh, okay, warning for spoilers, I guess. They're playing, uh, the new Final Fantasy game. So, if you don't want to be spoiled on anything, um, I guess don't go to the raid, but that is, that is where we're going to be going. Let's see, how do I spell their name? Alright. <laughs> Bye, Zero. Love you. Alright, everyone. Thank you all for coming today. Thank you for getting me to 50 followers. Soon we shall take over the world. Everybody take care of yourselves. I love you. Hail Satan. All of that beautiful fun things. Happy Pride Month, on your turf, in Minecraft. Goodbye.